Well, this is a fun time of year that everything is growing and the birds are singing and they're sitting on nests and eggs. And this is the time that we would normally hatch eggs in our classroom. I bring eggs in from my farm and we hatch them. Well, yesterday I went out to take care of my chickens and I found a little hen, her name is Pepper, and she was sitting on some eggs. And I thought, well, this would be a great way for us to wash those eggs because we normally wash them through an incubator. And I thought I would share with you what the incubator does and what the hen does, and we would compare the two, okay? So first, if we were going to hatch those eggs, we would need our incubator. And you'll notice that there is kind of like, it looks like a maze in here. And this is where we put a plastic liner on top of that, like that. And then in this plastic liner, we add some water so that there's moisture inside our incubator to keep those eggs nice and hydrated. And then after that, we would lay in our wire mesh. And the wire mesh has a couple purposes. The first purpose is to kind of support our eggs that we're gonna put in next on the, in our egg turner. And also we'll cover it up, we would cover it up with just a little bit of a material so that the baby chicks would have something stable to be on top of. So then the next thing that we would put in is the egg turner. Sometimes these are automatic, and mine is. Sometimes you have to turn eggs by your hand if it's not an automatic egg turner. But this is the, the little motor that turns these guys back and forth. So we would fluff that in. And you can look at the egg turner and you think, I don't think it's doing anything. But then when you come back and check on it a little bit later, the eggs will be facing a different direction and they just go back and forth like a little rock. But it's so slight or so little, you don't actually see it when you're looking right at it. But when you come back later, you can tell that they've moved. The next thing that we would put in there would be a thermometer. And this checks the air temperature, how warm it is or how cool it is in there. And we want to make sure that our temperature stays about 99.5 degrees. That's kind of the temperature that's underneath that mama hen that keeps those eggs nice and safe. So we would lay that into the bottom. And the next thing that we have is a hydro, um, hydrometer, hydrometer. <laughs> and this purpose is to the moisture that's in the air. This measures the air temperature and this measures the moisture that's in the air. And it's really important that we keep it in a specific area. And on that, you can see that it's kind of gray right there. And that's where we want our needle to stay. Um, there's our needle and it's not actually in there, but we don't have this set up yet. So what we would do if it would be in that area, that would mean, oh, we need to add water. There's not enough moisture in the area. If it was on the other side, that means, oh, there's too much moisture. We got to get some of that out of there. So this is a very important tool to have. So we would put that in there and then we would put the cover on it. Inside the cover is the heater. And it also has a blowing fan, so it kind of circulates. That means move around the air. So all of the eggs get, get the warmth, not just the eggs here in the middle. Um, and then remember when I said if it got too moist in there, there's a little plug here that we can open up and we can let some of that moist air out until our hydrometer tells us, oh, it's safe. It's a safe um, level now. You can put that plug back in there and then it holds steady. Then we would have to plug that in. Okay, so then every day we would check this and see, making sure our thermometer reads correctly and our hydrometer reads correctly. This little guy up at the top, this is the turning knob and it, it you just barely turn it one way or the other if it's too hot or if it's too cold. This is kind of like the thermostat on your furnace at home. So it takes a lot of things to, to hatch an egg for a human. But for my hen out there, all she does is she sets on the, on the eggs. And they set on eggs for 21 days. My, whoopsie, my hen started sitting on the nest that she has Sunday. That was yesterday. So we would call that, actually, I think it was Saturday night, um, Saturday afternoon. But she was on there all day Sunday because when I went to put them away, Sunday I could or Saturday night I couldn't find her and then when Sunday morning when I went in to um, let them out into their yard I couldn't find her still and so I went and she was in a little corner all by herself she wasn't in a nesting box she decided she wanted to lay her eggs and nest somewhere else so we're going to call this day one 
and to, today is day two. We're going to go all the way to 21, and between day 19 to 21, her eggs are going to start hatching, hopefully, so we're going to keep an eye on her and keep an eye on her nest and see what's going to be happening with that. What I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to go down to the school and I'm going to get these plastic eggs that I have and we crack an egg open every day to see it's not real eggs. It's just little plastic ones and we crack them open each day to see what's going on inside of an egg without actually cracking open a live one so that you can see the growth of those baby chicks inside there. Uh, so we will start cracking those eggs open tomorrow and it's just going to take us maybe two or three minutes each day for just our little science. Um, crack it open and we'll record our results. I'm also going to put a calendar in our downloads in case you wanted to record our results too to maybe even draw what you think the eggs looking like or the chick inside the eggs looking like, okay? To tie this into our reading, tomorrow we are going to read Chicks Aren't the Only One. And we're going to do some activities with this since it's spring. It's such a fun time of year. And I want to share all that fun things with you. So I cannot wait um, to see you again tomorrow. And we can talk about this a little bit more. I've put a couple of things in the downloads that you might like to look into. And I've also, also put down some reading books that you can read by yourself in our downloads to practice those reading skills, okay? You'll have to look for your um, group. And that's going to be the just right book for you. Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.